another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. As always, I am Oz, and today we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to be doing a few handyman things, some stuff you haven't seen before. We're finally going to tackle that branch mine we've got to set up down there. And a couple of things. But first, we're going to have a look in our chest and see what we'll be doing this episode. Let's have a look. We've got 35 strips of leather, but this is what's interesting me. We have redstone torches, sticky pistons, regular pistons, redstone, sand, a lever, and five redstone repeaters. Hmm. Well, this isn't enough for me to go on. I need to go outside. Oops, I'm trapped. I'm trapped! Our little cow farm has been working nicely. We have our ice farm, our sugar cane farm, our tree farm. We have our little shrine going nicely. I haven't done too much in the way of renovations and landscaping since the last video. What the hell? What the... What's it? Okay, we got snow blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 12. So we've got 12 snow blocks, 12 torches, 12 regular pistons. Sticky... Oh, I know what we're doing. We're going to be making a sand generator. That's what these blocks of sand are for. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to be making a sand generator. Wahey! So, yes, like I said in my previous videos, I have been running low on the sand. I've used all but seven blocks in uh, smelting into glass. I've chewed up a fair amount of that little lava pool over there. I think it's more than half empty. So, I will be using JL2579's design, uh, compatible with 1.3.1, .1, of course. Uh, I found it through the lovely German himself, DocM77, very good master of redstone. Uh, so, let's set up. We want a piston, a sticky piston between each torch and block of snow. 12, 12, 12. Alright, let's grab our sand blocks. And we just put a sand block on top of each one. Beautiful. Okay, we've got 12 set up. We want to count in four. And place four blocks of snow. Now, of course, uh, the minimum size for a sand generator of this design is four. But I've expanded it out four on each side. Just to help increase the speed and the yield. Okay, so we want to place redstone dust on each snow block, that way we have a signal feeding through to each uh, sticky piston. Uh, if you want a proper tutorial on the uh, exact mechanics of redstone and how they power their blocks, uh, you can always check out uh, Generic B's channel. He is uh, another member of the Mind Crack community, of which I'm a close follower. Uh, he has his uh, series of videos, uh, Redstone Academy, which I thoroughly recommend because before I saw them, I did not have a bloody clue <laughs> on what to do with redstone. And since then, I've... Oh, oh. Let's get you back. I don't know exactly how many blocks of snow I will need. I don't think I'll need a full stack, though. Okay, so we want one block, one block, one, two, three, one there, one, two, three, and one there. Oh, it's getting dark. Craps. Oh, we'll just have to go quickly. Get our redstone. Repeaters, we want one there. And one up here. Bottom one, two ticks. Top one, one tick. Okay. Oh, damn, I just gave it another tick, didn't I? Okay. No, that's not what we want. We want... Should have done this beforehand. We want a sticky piston there. Oh, come on. Sort of trying to speed this in case we get ambushed by a creeper. Oh, phone vibrating on my foot. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, I swear I just saw a mob at the top of that hill. But it may have been a star. Okay, that's... Oh, blimey, you stupid wolf. I'm going to kill you when I'm done. You just scared the bejesus out of me. Alrighty. We want to get rid of this. Torch. Piston extended. Break. Torch. Piston extended. Too easy. 
Alright. Redstone dust. Quick mob check. You got anything? No? We are on normal difficulty. That's right. Oh, there's a skelly over there, but I don't think he'll bother us. The creepers are really the only ones we need to keep an eye on, because if they blow up all this sand, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, so pistons are extended. Um, place two blocks here, and continue the rub along. We're using a, a four-wide setup for the mechanism, and you're going to die. You son of a bitch. Wah. Whoosh. Now, see, that would have been cool if I didn't have knockback. <laughs> okay, continuing on. We want our... We want to place a redstone torch here, and a redstone torch here. Don't place this one here, because if a block goes over it, it will cause a short circuit, and that is not what we want. Okay, sticky piston. Bam. Now, this torch here is going to power another redstone repeater. Our last one. Bam, we want to set that to two ticks. I will explain why in a moment. Block here. Dust, dust. Block here. Oh, that's not a block, that's a melon. But that is a good idea. Phone again, vibrating on my foot. Do not ask why it's on my foot. <laughs> okay. Now we want our last sticky piston. Going right there. Now we want our redstone torch here, like like with before, don't put it here, causing a short circuit. Bam. Now before we place a block here, we want to place a block here. And we're finally going to use that lever. Turn it on. Then place this block. And if my mathematics and redstoning is correct, we should have two rows of sand. Bam. Oh yeah. Done. Alright. So... That's our redstone setup for our sand generator. Flick on. Make rows of sand. Now, this is using a bug. Okay, it's not necessarily a bug. It's not a bug at all, in fact. I apologize for my use of parlance. Um, it's a manipulation of the game's mechanics. Because when uh, a sand block is created in empty air, it's uh, it the game performs a check to see if it's falling sand. And th this sticky piston here manipulates that into pulling the block down as a s falling sand block. But this block here, the original block, stays as a solid block and remains a block high. So that is how the duplication effect takes place. I'm not going to call it a glitch or a bug. It's just how the game mechanics work. It, you can use this exact same method to uh, mass produce gravel. So there's... I don't consider this to be cheating. I consider cheating to be getting into the game, altering s vital aspects of the game. Obviously, I'm playing on vanilla, and if you can get away with it on vanilla, I wouldn't call it cheating. Die, you green bastard. Yoink. Okay, so we've got that, but we can't collect it. Now, obviously, we could go through and put torches here, but that's what these 12 torches right here for. So what we're going to do is set up with these 12 regular pistons and we're going to make our... Oops, I can't do that from there. We're going to make our uh, automate automation units. One up. Whoops. One up. Yep, no, that's good. Okay. Now we don't want to put our final setup directly directly on top of these blocks because we're going to be running a row of snow along here, and if we put it one block lower, we're going to the redstone that we put along here will touch this piston and that will completely muck with the design. So I'm going to run back inside quickly, grab the rest of our snow blocks. I did make a couple. Um, where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh, melons. Let's try and smack this up quick. I really need to get to the branch mine. Okay.
One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, all this extraneous snow we can just demolish. Keep it nice and light, nice and vanilla. Don't break that block, very important. Okay. Whoops, whoop, whoop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So we're just feeding our redstone along. Now what we want to do here is invert our signal. Wait, I have one extra. Oh right, I forgot to take this one into account. So yes, uh, oh, you bastard. Mm, angry, fighting it. Fight the rage. Okay, so we are going to put pistons, regular pistons. Let's just break this off. No, this is not how the sand generation works. I'm just trying to get a better angle. Because of piston placing. This isn't going to do it, is it? Dang it! Come on, go, go, go. Alright. How about now? Making it hard on me. Alright, are you going to work now? Beautiful. Place them one, in f one next to the sand, one level next. Where's that piston, and where's that other piston? Alrighty. Let's hop back up there. Sun is about to rise, I do believe. One, two. Alright, that's set. Of course, that was a brief extension because this is powered, so this won't come on. When I turn that on, these pistons down here will push the block up, affect, uh, affect the duplication, and close back down. And then these will push these out onto these torches. And of course, we know that when sand or gravel falls onto a torch, it breaks. So this is how we are going to mass produce our sand. Or gravel, if it ever comes to that. Now, this produces 12 per cycle. I have run a mechanic on it. I've run some diagnostics. It takes 144 seconds for this machine here to produce one full inventory of sand. So, that's 36 stacks of sand. It takes 144 seconds. So, that's 4 seconds per stack. So, running through that logic, it takes 1.3 seconds per... 1.3? No. Wrong, Oz. It takes... Not much time at all. So we're going to put this into effect and go kill that creeper. Isn't it beautiful? Now come here, you green bastard. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work. Now I saw a bone around here. There we go. Two bones. Always remember to collect your drops because they're very valuable until you make a mob spawner. Okay, so that's still going away, ticking away, ticking away. How's our FPS? 2019, that's not too bad. Uh, when this thing goes full ball for a while... Oh, jeez, we're starting to jerk around now. When it goes full ball for a while, uh, I have been as low as 4 FPS without recording equipment on. Alright, how much did we get? We got... 10 stacks, 10 and 1 8 stacks. So that will give us four, no, that will give us two stacks 33 of sandstone, I think. Let's check it out. Of course, crafting recipe, four sand, one sandstone. Oh, come on. Oh, Oz, you were so close. Two stacks, 34. Oh, well. So there we go. That is the sand generator. Okay, now let me just grab all my stuff. Um, we want diamond, 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 diamond. Wood, coal. Let's just put these away. Helps to stay organized. I'll put my snow away. Snow away! Ha ha ha! Alright, now let's start our branch mining. 
Now I'm going to be using the three spacing method. Have I told you about? Yeah, I've told you about that. I'm going to be using the three space method, which means that I will dig out a corridor and then I will dig a corridor perpendicular, 90 degrees for those of you who didn't do maths, and then I will leave three spaces and continue on my merry way. So let's go this way. All right. Now I have a high efficiency pick to bust through the walls, and I have a fortune pick for drops like this redstone. Or for lapis or coal. Because you can never get enough. Alright, so we're going to dig a too high corridor. Damn, that was quick. Alright. Okay. Continue on. Alright, that seems like it. Fill it back up. Keep your torches... Uh, when the light level is at 2, we'll replace. Was it 2? I think it was 2. Oh, no. Wrong one. Okay. And that way, the light level never drops below 8. You get 2 squares of 8, but you never get 1 on 7. Which is perfect, because we can keep out the nasty mobs. Dang it. And of course, this is unavoidable. So I'm going to hollow out a bit of this, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, time for a quick update. We have just dug in, I think it's what? We're like two deep. We're at the same torch. We had the first torch we actually placed. We've dug in to the side. We have found diamonds. Diamonds! And a ravine. We dug up just to see where this led. We have four diamonds at the edge of a ravine, so there doesn't seem to be any da inherent danger, so we're going to use our fortune pick, see how many diamonds we can get. Come on. Dang. Dang. Yes. Come on. Three. Ah, oh, five. That's still enough for your... Uh, for Diamond pickaxe and enchanting table, or a diamond sword and a pickaxe. So uh, let's we'll continue on our way, and I'll come back after I've mined a bit more of this cave area out. We'll explore this in a later episode. I don't really want to do that now. Right now, I'm just going to do a bit of branch mining. So see you on the other side, guys. All right, and we're back, guys. So I've just done some more excavating in the branch mine, and let's take a look at the spoils of exploration. That's right, I found enough diamond to make six blocks, so that's 54 diamond ore. I found a buttload of lapis, a buttload of iron, six stacks of redstone, which is a bit disappointing. I thought I'd be finding more. And ten blocks of gold. Of course, I haven't explored that ravine yet. I did mine out a bit of obsidian because I had to come back up and use a water bucket to clear out a small little lava stream. But nothing to worry about. So, why don't we take this right now? Let you know what? Let's do it. Let's go make another portal real quick. Bam. Okay, so there are two methods to making another portal. There is the full method, which uses 14, and the e economic method, which uses 10. These four corner blocks here are not required. Now, the basic layout of your nether portal is 5 by 4, leaving gaps in the middle. Four, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. So like I said, the four that are, you can't see at the moment, the four blocks you can't see, are not needed. If you're running low on obsidian, or you just don't want to mine the extra four blocks, feel free to leave them out. Or cover them up. No one has to know. It's our little secret. Okay, so we've built that. We will finish, we will install the portal in full in a later episode. We still have those leather, so let's grab a bit of paper and make those real quick. Alright, 32 books. We need some wood planks. Uh, -do. Oh, hang on, let's just store this away. Yada yada yada. I've used all that up. Okay. 
Now, how many bookshelves do we need? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need six, so we'll put them right there where those torches are. I knew I had something planned. So we need six, so that's 18 we need. Whoops. 32, that gives us six. No, we need another one. Beautiful. Come on, let's do this real quick. 14 books left over. Awesome. Alright. And there's our 15 bookshelves. That's all we need to complete an enchantment table. With full... With a full stack. Okay, so... I'm on 22 at the moment. I did have to make an extra tool to get my way through um, but we're pretty good so next episode I'll give us a full level 30 enchantment see what our first level 30 enchantment is we will get around to a couple of tasks that I didn't manage to get around in this episode due to a shortage of time we'll expand our chicken farm a little bit did I show you guys this? no I don't think I show you guys this very simple idea. Dig out a pit. Trap door so you can get down and grab the stuff. Trap door up so they can't get out. Easy. Harvest eggs. Put a cocoa wall in here. Nothing nothing too bad. I'm sorry I'm doing this quickly, but we are going to have to put an end to this episode. So. God damn it, mother fuck. Oh, sweet, merciful crap. Bye, guys. <laughs> Ciao.